We sent a probe to Pluto, the ninth planet. Yay! Wrong. Fine. So Pluto might not still be a planet, but there's still a lot of cool stuff to learn about it and its system. Hi, I'm Adva, and tonight I'm talking about the Pluto system and the New Horizons probe that was launched in 2006 and flew by in Pluto in 2015. I'm going to start off by addressing the elephant in the room. Or rather, dwarf elephant. Yep, Pluto's not a planet anymore. Shortly after New Horizons launched in 2006, the International Astronomical Union uh, published updated rules on planetary classification. As per the new rules, a planet had to orbit the sun, have sufficient mass to attain hydrostatic equilibrium, that means to be round, and have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. The third rule is what caused Pluto's classification to change. In fact, Pluto is not the only ex-planet. Ceres, Makemake, Sedna, Eris, and others also lost their planetary status due to this third criterion. Ceres is now a dwarf planet and the largest object in the asteroid belt. The fact that it is in the asteroid belt is also incidentally why it fails the third condition. It's not cleared out its orbital neighborhood of asteroids. Similarly, the other dwarf planets exist in an area called the Kuiper Belt, which is a region of space past Neptune which is filled by debris similar to the asteroid belt. But having a nomenclature that is slightly derogatory doesn't affect Pluto's scientific value in any way. The Plutonian system continues to be extremely useful for the scientific community. Since Pluto is so far out, barely any sunlight gets there. This makes the dwarf planet extremely cold. These freezing temperatures may preserve the secrets of the formation of our solar system within them. Secondly, Pluto is in a binary system with its largest moon, Charon. This means Charon doesn't actually orbit Pluto, since it's pretty big compared to Pluto. The two orbit a point where the gravity cancels out, and this point is called a barycenter and is not within the body of Pluto. Since the gravitational field links so closely to each other, they are tightly locked. This means they always have the same sides facing each other. This phenomenon also occurs in the Earth's moon system, and this is the reason why we always see the same side of the moon. Okay, I'm gonna go off a bit of a tangent over here about Charon. Charon! You are so cool! You're like a fandom that came to life and became a moon. You're like a Comic-Con that's literally out of this world. Why? Well, when scientists got back the data containing your map from the Horizons draft, they took one look at your features and let out their true selves. And ditched the fancy sounding glamour names for a thing like, and I swear this is true. The Wader Crater. The Awe Terror. The Gallifrey Macula, the Tardis Chasma, the Skywalker Crater, and of course, a large dark area named Pluto. But I digress. Apart from Charon, Pluto also has four other moons that we know of. But these guys are really small. Nix and Hydra were discovered in 2005. Their initials, N and H, are derived from the initials of New Horizons. The other two moons, Kerberos and Styx, are so tiny that we discovered them in 2011 and 2012 respectively. That's half a decade after New Horizons was launched. Okay, now getting back to the craft itself. New Horizons is an incredibly fascinating craft. When it was launched, it was the fastest things humans had ever made, clocking at over 58,000 km per hour or 36,000 miles per hour. The craft is also powered by devices called radioisotope thermoelectric generators that turn heat from decaying plutonium directly into electricity. Yeah, I don't know if NASA saw the pun there. The Pluto mission is powered by plutonium. The energy generated from the source is then used to power an array of instruments, including cameras, spectroscopes, and telescopes. The information then took nearly five hours to be beamed back to Earth and gave us our best pictures of Pluto yet, as well as scientific data such as atmospheric composition and tectonic activity. New Horizons is now scheduled to continue its voyage into the unknown and will reach its next target, 2014 MV29, on the 1st of January 2018. Hey, we hope you found this video fun slash informative slash useful. If you want more cool content, click up here to watch a video randomly chosen by YouTube's algorithm. If you want to subscribe, click up here. We'll see you in the next video, but until then, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the CMX like hilarious bite.